Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and also an update on our million dollar challenge, so please stay tuned. In the previous video, we did a stock update on Tixamal MMT LP, the special preference shares, and we also looked at whether or not you can uh, qualify for the special dividend if you invest in this um, special uh, stock on the OTC market. So um, please refer back to the previous video for an update on that. Before we look at today's um, stock analysis, quick reminder of the million dollar challenge for anybody who does not know, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the strategy involves trying to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. And uh, it's not 201 consecutive trades. We also take into account losses. So once you join the challenge, you'll get access to an exclusive in-depth uh, strategy video, which covers the challenge and the objectives of the challenge in um, much, much more detail. Uh, and this is not available on the public platform. So once you join, you also get access to the Discord community. This is well in excess of 300. And there were people there sharing due diligence, trading tips, buy alerts, etc. You also go get access to channels such as the stock spreadsheet. You can chat and ask questions in there. And also we have the leaderboard. So uh, the spreadsheet is updated weekly with low and medium risk stocks. And uh, we also have color coordinated buy, uh, target buy prices. Uh, the, we also have a weekly updated leaderboards to celebrate success. Details in the description below. And so uh, you're welcome to join us on this journey. I'd like to first of all look at some of the key reasons why the markets have been down very significantly this week. Uh, so many stocks including Tesla, um, Apple, uh, some of the EV sectors are down quite significantly. Some of the Bit Bitcoin related stocks have been down. Uh, so there's a headline here from Reuters and that is Nasdaq tumbled as investors balance mixed data against virus worries. So the key concern is the new uh, virus strain. Uh, we can see here that uh, indexes down include the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and also the NASDAQ in excess of 2%. So the key worry is this new Omicron coronavirus variant. Let's have a look at what else we can see in this article. So on the second part of this article, two key concerns that I can pick up here at the top. First of all, we can see that the central bank is uh, considering a faster wind down of the bond buying program. This is seen as a move as potentially opening the door to uh, increases in the uh, interest rates. And then finally at the bottom, we can also see the key concern in terms of the market right now is the fear of the new Omicron variant virus. So this is something that has spread to dozens of countries, including the UK, including, including Europe, and also now including the US. So what markets in particular do not like is uncertainty. So this virus is creating lots of fear, and this is having a significant effect on many of the stocks. After finishing today's video, I'm now re-editing and reshooting today's video with some breaking news. So I'm going to share this breaking with you news with you now. So on the screen, this news is from the company itself and it's come through Access Wire, December the 3rd, 2021. Let's have a look at this uh, headline and let's try to digest what's going on. So Meta has provided an update on the special series A preferred stock dividend. So the company here in the article has confirmed that it, with regard to the dividend, in relation to the oil and gas assets and the planned sale or spin out of these assets for the benefit of uh, the Series A preferred stockholders is now going to be uh, updated with an announcement. So the announcement here in terms of the quarterly three and nine month 2021 results. Uh, Meta has stated here in terms of its oil and gas assets operations, four wells must be drilled in the Ori Grande project in 2021. And this is in order to uh, hold the lease or for sale or spin out. So this is a clause. Uh, they are complying with this clause to enable them to uh, have permission to sell this uh, for value. So this is one of the requirements from uh, the lease that they have as part of their December update. They are now saying that these are dr this drilling is underway. The drilling is on track for completion later this month. So that basically means at the, by the end of this year. The company also believes that upon completing the, the drilling in terms of these four wells, the company Meta will be in compliance with all aspects of the lease obligations. Uh, and we also know that the land is university land 
on the Oro Grande project. Let's now look at the final part of this uh, breaking news. Let's now have a look at the final part of this uh, breaking news. So I'm going to summarize this for you again here. So the company have stated here, completion of the work will the company believes and enable them to move to the next step in the spin out process for the assets. So this work includes, but is not limited to the transfer of the asset assets to oil co holding. So this is a company that was covered in one of my previous videos. And um, this is a company that was uh, established with George named in this company so please refer back to the previous video where we covered oil co so this oil co they've confirmed is a newly formed wholly owned subsidiary of meta ensuring that the oil co capital structure supports and spin out making any new necessary filings with the sec so meta is in the process of finalizing permanent arrangements with a completely new management team for oil co who are going to bring significant experience in oil and gas exploration as well as specific experience in the Oro Grande region. The team is already consulting uh, to oil co and operating Oro Grande project and has been very valuable to our efforts during the drilling process. So given the sc scope of the work required, we ensure that we uh, remain in compliance with the lease obligations and satisfy a range of regulatory requirements. The company is targeting a spin out or disposition of the oil and gas assets for early quarter 2020. Two, uh, pending process approval by all parties involved. So let me just pause there and add in uh, my take on here. So what that basically means is there will be no special dividend in 2021. Uh, the earliest we're going to get it is 2022 and they've stated it's early quarter one, 2022. So what that implies is we're looking at January, February, March. That will cover the first quarter and they are saying it's early so potentially january or february so again a little bit vague and let's just have a look finish off by looking at the last part of this uh, article and the company have said here the objective has been and remains to ensure the intrinsic value of these assets is maintained for the benefit of the uh, preferred stockholders of meta and the assets or proceeds from their therefrom are transferred as rapidly as possible to the Series A preferred stockholders. We expect to provide an additional updates upon completing completion of the drilling operations. So let's now finish off by giving a my personal take on the overall uh, situation now. So in my opinion, most investors will not be happy with this news. I think investors were expecting a payout in 2021. Investors were looking at a potential dividend in 2021 we have uh, a number of calculations we were expecting a sell-off we were expecting a buyer we were expecting many buyers george did tweet and he said uh, no decision is made all options are open we are looking at talking to multiple pe people but now looking at the situation in this announcement it looks like to me there is certainly a very strong possibility that um, the assets will be transferred into the new company oil co so it's likely in my opinion that the shares that we receive could weigh could be and may well be for this new company called oil co uh, so it may not be a cash payment it may not be a dividend so this indicates to me the company has not agreed a sale i hope i'm wrong and uh, i'm also believe that investors will prefer not to have shares in oil co i'm sure investors will prefer to have a market value sh sale of the assets uh, and uh, to receive a cash dividend as we expected before we look at the three stocks i'd like to share an article here from sky news dated friday the 23rd of uh, december and the headline here is covid19 Pfizer and moderna jabs give the best overall boost a uk study has found so in the second part of this article, we can see confirmation here that Pfizer and Moderna vaccines being used in the UK as boosters uh, prompt the best overall response according to the UK trial. So this has supported the UK's decision to rely on Pfizer and Moderna vaccines for its boosters. This now brings us to looking at the three potential stocks to hold uh, in these difficult market conditions. The first stock uh, is a stock that I did bring to you in an earlier video, that's ticker symbol PFE. Uh, Pfizer so have a look at the chart today in a very strong um, red market this stock was up in excess of 2.2% closing at $54.26.
And the second stock I'd like to bring in terms of one of the potential stocks to hold in these difficult market conditions is tick symbol MRNA trading on the NASDAQ, Moderna. Uh, so we can see again on the chart here, uh, difficult trading conditions today. This stock was also up in excess of 3.4% at $311.82 in terms of its all time high of $497.49. It's not quite there yet, but with the difficult with the conditions right now, in terms of this new variant, there is strong potential for this stock to potentially be its all time high. And the final stock I'd like to add to the watch list um, for these difficult trading conditions, again, is this is a stock I did bring to you in an earlier video. This is ticker symbol BNTX Biotech. This is um, a German biotechnology technology company based in Mainz. And we can see here again, uh, this stock is up in difficult trading conditions in excess of 3.24% closing at $344.28 on a high. This was at one time trading in excess of $464. So again, good potential for this to potentially reach its all time high again. And finally, in terms of my personal take on the overall situation of the market right now, if the stocks you are holding are stocks that you believe in, you believe they are gonna recover, uh, then certainly one strategy is to hold because uh, in all cases, if you do not sell, there is no loss. So. The market in the long run always comes back. The market always recovers. I fully 100% believe this will happen again. So times are difficult. So potentially good buying opportunities for people who have cash. But um, it's a case of uh, let's hold if we believe in our stocks. It can be a case of uh, reorganizing your portfolio at long term to hold more investments in more secure and stable stocks and use uh, a smaller uh, portion of your portfolio in the more risky stocks. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.